so what we're creating is a second wave. So many people are familiar with the first surfing wave that was created during phase one of the Whitewater Park project. We're now into phase two. We're creating a second, third, and fourth wave downstream near Esther Simplot Park. Um, and what we've done is created in this physical model a, a, a scaled hydraulic model of what one of those waves will look like. Um, the wave will serve as a diversion point for a head gate that, that provides water to the farmer's union ditch. It will also create a wave that surfers can ride, that kayakers can ride, that people can tube through and people can raft through. So it's a pretty exciting project. Exactly, and what's unique about this wave is, unlike most waves in the world, it's adjustable. So we can, we can pneumatically raise and lower that gate and change the shape of the wave. And so we can configure it for beginners, we can configure it for experts, for competitions. Um, it gives us a lot of adjustability in how that wave is, is used and by whom. So, so the eco-hydraulics lab, we have the, the big flume in there where the wave is, and, and that's a quarter scale model. And what our goal is, is to, to design the experiments we're doing so that the waves you see in there and the waves that Scott is, are testing, basically scale them up and that's what we're going to get in the river. And that's really helpful because trying to do that in the river or elsewhere is very difficult, but doing it in the lab is, is a very beneficial to the project. So the project is being modeled right now and we'll go back to uh, literally a drawing board and create uh, construction drawings for this project. We're hoping to be working with Macmillan Jacobs to build this project in the fall of next year. What's great for us is that Boise Parks and Rec has gotten this together with the Idaho um, lab, the University of Idaho lab. And what it allows us to do is try things that we could never have tried before. Have we built this in the field and then tried to do all of the tuning that we've done now, we just couldn't get to where we've gotten to. We've changed so much from our original design based on what we've learned using this hydraulics lab. And so by having a scale model, by partnering with the University of Idaho, we've been able to create a better wave. We've done over 35 different configurations to optimize that wave to make it better for the people of, uh, that will come and use this park in the future. And so it's been a real advantage for us to use this lab and, and for sure we'll be using this in the future.